Hey, in this video we're going to have a look at doing a deep dive into JSON mode inside of Langchain. This is a simple implementation that you can do, so we do a couple of imports to start with. Importing the JSON package, inserting chat open AI, and also importing some schemas such as system message and also human message. Now notice we're importing a different type of model here. This is a GPT-4 preview model and it comes bundled with something called JSON mode. This allows you to specify to the language model that you would like to extract JSON as an output. Notice how we're adding on the model quags and specifying a response format with a type of JSON object. This allows the ChatGPT API and the LLM to know that we'd rather receive serializable JSON that we can parse and convert into native data types inside of Python. So we'll first load the model. After that, we create a system message with the content of what we would like to extract. You can give it, for example, a JSON object with the various types of keys and values that you would like to extract, and that's good practice. We've then got this user message, which is set up so John is 20 years old. He's a student at the University of California, uh, and he's a very smart student. Uh, and so what we do is we've got these two messages and we've then added onto our chat model. Let's first call the system message as well as also the user message inside of the chat history. So both these messages are called inside of the same request and then we get back this JSON object. So let's have a look and see what this is. So inside of here, what we've got is a JSON object and if we look in the dot content property, you'll see that we've got this serializable string which we can pass. So you can do this by just using a single try and accept. So you'll see we're using the json.loads and doing that on side of the json object.content property because remember we, when we get back the Langchain response, at the moment we're getting back an AI message with the property of content. So let's have a go and see if we can pass that. And indeed we can pass that bit of JSON so that we actually get back the right data types inside of our request.